Welcome to SQL Support in Business Central. Yes, even in the cloud. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, one of the things that a lot of people always complain about is that there is no SQL in Business Central. Everything would be better if we could fire off some SQL statements. Uh, I don't necessarily share that uh, idea um, because I'm, I think I'm pretty good at, at you know, filtering and working with the uh, with the business central data system but i understand so for uh, actually for a couple of years i've been thinking oh, maybe we should create some sql support somehow in business central but i never got around to it um then like a month ago or so steve endo go check his channel uh started his uh, vibe coding uh, uh project uh, and in in proper steve fashion he started off saying i have no clue what i'm doing he clearly has but but uh, he uh, he dumps it down for for the rest of us uh, but it kind of got me thinking okay hang on what if i approach this with the uh, no, the reverse Uno uh, card on Steam. Say, so I, I know what I'm doing, so I know how I would build a SQL support. Uh, I just never really had the time to sit down and do it. Um, so how about uh, I do it by the help of uh, some AI stuff? Um, is that it? And uh, I'm not gonna walk you through the process uh, because that's not what we do here necessary in, in this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the result and then we can talk about the, whether this is useful or not. So with all that said, here is the SQL work, uh, workbench. Um, and um, the way it works is, of course, you, you type something, select a number, a name from customer. You click Execute SQL. You get SQL data. Hang on, we also need the address. We add the address. That That is SQL. Uh, where number is less than 30,000. Um, that is SQL, right? That is, that is actually SQL. Uh, I can, I can say, well, I'll have a timer on that one. That's another video. Uh, I, uh, you know, we can get it in. In Excel, that's all good. Um, so how does this actually work? Well, the way that you approach most languages, including um, including SQL, is that you start by um, you start by taking whatever is written. So select star from customer. I have written four words right here. I select asterisk from customer. So the first thing we build we, is that we build a, uh, a what is known as a lexer. So the lexer can slice stuff up into tokens. So if I say show tokens, we can see here that this one creates uh, actually five tokens. So we create a select token. So select this keyword. Um, so we get a select token. We get the, the asterisk token, we give it a name, call it multiple. Uh, we have the from token, we have an identifier, meaning a name of some sort. And then we have an end of file token, meaning that, hey, there is nothing beyond this. Uh, this, is, uh, this is convenient because uh, part of parsing is sometimes to look ahead and see what's coming next. So. If there's nothing, then we have to deal with all the places where we, we look ahead uh, to see if 
there is more we have to make sure that there is something to look ahead for but if there's always an end of file at the end then that is kind of taken care of um, so the the lexer slices things into tokens that is being consumed by by a parser so the parser in this case reads the 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 tokens from from the lecture and turn it into a structure so in this case we have a um a, a statement so hey this is this is type select so if if i did a an insert or an update that would be of course type that then a select has a set of columns and have some have a front from um, so this is the input to the SQL runner. So, so we have kind of three layers. We lex, we parse, we run. Um, and, and if I go here and find my, uh, my thing, we can see that I have a lexer, uh, and the lexer turns things into tokens. Uh, and and we can see that we know a lot of keywords. Um, we have a parser. The parser will uh, take a list of tokens, and then it will start looking at what kind of statement it is, and then pass that. Uh, this is basically no different from how I built the uh, the AL compiler inside AL. And then finally we have the SQL runner. This one we even I even got the AI to start documenting it, um, which take the past output. So let's uh, let's uh, see what what this thing can do. So, well, select asterisk from customer. Um, but then we got all the uh, we got all the fields. Um, we could uh, we could get more advanced here. So let's do select, um, and I'm gonna do customer dot number. Some of you might already know where I'm I'm, I'm going with this. Dot customer dot name comma, and then I'm gonna say customer posting group dot description. From customer join, uh, customer post posting group uh, on customer. So hang on, select do 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 from customer join customer posting group on customer dot customer posting. Why did I not select something else easier to do? Customer posting group equal customer <laughs> posting group dot i think the field is code um so number name and customer posting group execute boom maybe we need to see the customer posting group here also so let's just add that in customer dot customer posting group there you go something like that yeah Big, very big customer, domestic, domestic, foreign, foreign. Um, so that worked pretty well, actually. We could also um, see now why we have customer sixty. So let's uh, let's we, we, let's uh, let's do insert into. Uh, customer, um, and the first thing is that we need to add, you know, that what columns are we inserting in? That's kind of weird, but let's number name, and then we select the values, and we'll insert uh, seventy thousand, right? Um, and 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 right now, I I have made this being very forgiving that I know custom number is technically a code. Uh, 
but if 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 it gets a number and it's a code field it'll just put it in anyway this one hey so then oh, youtube there you go something like that execute sql row affected once uh, i'm just gonna copy this into a clipboard somewhere so now let's do select as select name from customer execute we got a new customer wakey wakey there it is so uh, with that perspective we should also be able to delete from customer where number equal 70,000 right something like that row affected once um, it's gone again I don't know why we have two Peters so, so that is delete um, but let's uh, let's just insert that guy again there insert row affected once now we got 70,000 so now we could do an update customer set name equal um Otto Nilsson uh where number equals seventy thousand rolls affected ones customers boom uh so that was insert delete update select um so how about we do select count asterisks from customer count eight huh. how about we do group by customer posting group that's, that's the only the one uh, then we should probably in, select the customer posting group, right? Customer posting group. One one big, four domestic, one foreign, and two blanks. Um, how about we then add and say, how about we do comma some what's the field um, sales LTY I think that's how the, the field is something like that well so now we're getting into something that's potentially useful right so now sales by um, sales by customer group um, Uh, let's see if there's something that uh, so that was some that was count what else is there um, this was a good, good one I'll, I'll save that in my library here um, how about uh, select distinct um, uh, city from customer uh, I may be able also to add a count here how about an add a count no 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 that was probably I'm a high on that was me not doing this right let's see count So we just get nah, that doesn't work oh is it me who don't understand sql it might be me who do not understand sql uh, that that's distinct that's distinct yeah so i think this is right distinct city tuk, 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 tuk. there's five different and a blank of course 
Um, you see, I actually what I did here because I uh, I we have to select with or that works. What other things did I add in my little test here? Uh, top, my right, select top three. Uh, Autobuy doesn't work very well um, yet. Autobuy is clearly not working. Um, select in does work, I think. Winnipeg, Ottawa, Berlin. We get those two. Let's check the city just to make sure that we are I'm, I'm not messing with anyone. Winnipeg and Ottawa. Yeah. Uh, like works uh john we did we did um is this useful um so so my original idea uh was uh hey at some point i will i'll sit down and, and build this and then I'll, i will add it to the toolbox uh as kind of here perhaps uh, slightly more polished and uh, uh, you know instead of the Microsoft multi line I will add, add in my own uh, controls so we can have um, IntelliSense uh, just like the toolbox has AL IntelliSense then we could also add SQL IntelliSense um, and instead of outputting this as um, just output the JSON, they should of course have a, a some a nice table structure uh, where you can see it. Um, still, you know, export to to SQL um, works very well. Um, but imagine if we kind of had this thing down here um, so yeah but um, let me know in the comments below is this it's just just a gimmick I, I completely accept that comment this is just a gimmick Eric and go back into your basement I'm already in the basement uh, and, and actually create something useful um, or is this actually useful uh, let me know in the comments below um, Check out this video. More ale hacking going on here for sure. Maybe not SQL, but something else. Very exciting. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.